Hello guys, this is Paula back. Um, and I want to show you a different, I'm trying to come up with different ways to collage. So this time I took about two book pages, maybe three, and glued them together. And, you know, just took them and glued them together. And that's what you see underneath all of this. Now I'm showing you this. And then we're going to make something similar. It's not going to be this exact design. But I did this yesterday. I was just in the mood to collage. And I didn't turn on the video. Which I probably should have. It would have been fun. But I fussy cut the butterflies and the um, flowers out. And, um, and then I, here's a, a cute tag here. And let's see, let's see, let's see. And then I'll put some lace here. And I wanted this journaling spot here and here on the front. I know usually I do that on the back, but then I stitched around it. I inked it afterwards, just like normal. Here's some journaling space on the back. And I added a second tag. And actually, I thought it would look good this way even. So I put the tag that direction so it works either way. Okay, so I thought what we would do is attempt to do this. And um, that's what we're going to do. So I um, thought we'd cover this with some text first because, you know, it's kind of... Uh, I'm going to set this on this side this time. Make sure you can see. Let me move it over. Do like this. Okay. Now, I thought we, like I said, I thought we'd cover this with text because obviously this is not got enough text on here. Um, although we're gonna cover. I wanted this thicker. Well, this is why I decided to go ahead and add text. That's what it was. I just thought, you know, because there was a point on the other one, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right here on the corner is just kind of weak, and I guess it must have been bent, and I didn't realize it until after the fact. And I just think this would just give it another layer of security as far as how flexible it is. And I think your pages can be too... I think they can be too um, lightweight that, you know, it doesn't really help. So, I'm just tearing these off around the edges because I'm not real concerned about making sure we cover the edges if we, you know, as close as we can would be great. And, um, yeah. So I'm just going to tear that in half, put some yoo-hoo on here, yoo-hoo, oo-hoo, whatever people call it. <laughs> I've heard people call it two or three different things on videos, and so I'm just like, mm, whatever. I'm just going to go with yoo-hoo. Uh, let's see. Now, put one on this big spot. Don't you wish it all collage that easy? Uh, I don't, now that I think about it, because that takes the fun out of it, right? Doing the design. Um, so we'll do this like this, right here. Now, I'm not too concerned about these being super level and all that. You know how I usually am. And the reason why is because, honestly, we're not going to end up seeing that much of this, okay? If any at all. So, it's really for strength. But if we do decide to let some stick out, that's fine, too. Oh, I didn't want to glue all of that, so let's just do part of it right here. And then I'll just tear it off right there. I'm just going to put a little bit up here in this corner. 
I just want to cut, I don't, I don't like the background like it was, is what it amounts to, because it has had a bunch of numbers, and I prefer to have the text. So, alrighty. Cover up this, help to have the text upside in the right direction. Okay, there we go. Now, scoot that over a little bit. So, this is what I think we'll do is, let me move this paper so I can work here. I think we'll do it similar to, to how we did this, okay, as far as the background goes. I want to find some, and I, I pulled up um, different ledger type stuff for this one. And here's one that's kind of pretty that has... Um, some design on it. Let's try that. Maybe we'll put it just right up here in this corner and pull off some down here. Let's see how big we want it to be. I think that works. I think that works. So this one's a heavier uh, paper, so I'm going to get it really glue, a lot of glue on here. Because it's like a card, it feels like a heavy card stock. I don't know. I've got all kinds of stuff in that basket. It's all I know. It's all I know. Okay, so let's line this up right here. Okay. I just got, um, let me grab my blue eraser because I don't know if that's what that is right there, but we're going to get it off. Looks like a smudge. It's probably from the paper. Probably already has too much glue on it because I did such big pieces, but we're going to get it off of here. Okay, now... I think we could also add, um, let's add some, I'm looking as we speak, let's add some, uh, let's add some of this on here, maybe on this side, um, down on the bottom. Okay, about like that. I better take this off since it smudged the other piece. If you guys get sick of collaging, let me know. I am going to do a um, the next video Probably the next two videos will not be collaging, just so you know. Some other videos I have, one of them is something I need for my next journal, which I'm not going to start. My sister will be here, and so I may miss a couple days, just so you guys know. I'm going to try not to, but, I mean, she may be asleep at some point, and, you know, she... Um, may decide that she's too tired. Let's see. Let's put some of this on here. I kind of like the brown tones, you know. Let's put it like this. Let's go like, let's see how much we want on here. Uh, this paper is pretty. I like that it's the color it is because it's got that khaki feel, and um, I like that. It is 85 here today in Oklahoma, or in T Tulsa. 85. Nuts, and the wind will kill you. It's so strong. It's like... 40 or 50 miles an hour 
and we have a pond in our backyard so when I take Sadie out we both think we're going to be blown into the pond because you know it's so crazy I mean you go in with your you go out with your hair combed and then you come out with your hair over your face <laughs> it's about like that too okay so let me go ahead and trim this off because i went ahead and took the glue all the way over now this is a big if you could see here it's big so you know it's about let's measure it just so you guys will know nine by you could always trim it down nine by five and three fourths is what the size of this is and you know i'm doing the botanical book and so i'm thinking you know we'll do something botanical on here like we did on this one and this one may even end up in there i don't know i do not know let's see I have some other paper that's a little different. Maybe we'll put this on there. I don't like the way I tore this paper with all this white on it. Which I have a tendency to tear the direction that does that. Now, there's one thing to put some on there, but there's another thing to have nothing but that on there. So, we'll see what this looks like when we're done here. Okay, maybe we'll do it like this. Yeah. That'd be fun. Okay. Get on here. Get on here straight, Paula. There we go. Okay, now we'll go like this. Take that off of there. It looks like I've got this white. It's a little bit off at the bottom because it's sticking out too. There we go. Let's see what this other size is, side is doing sticking out a little bit too there we go might as well trim it as we go so we don't forget and i think the top is nope the top is hanging over as well there okay as we continue now the next thing i want to do is put something right here it kind of goes and we'll probably need a little bit more of this pink and so I have another pink with lines on it so I think I'm just gonna go like this see if that's big enough and it is I'm gonna change the shape of it a little bit and then we'll trim the black off now on on the other one I took um, trying to remember which direction. Now, I'm obviously doing the paper different than I did it on the last one. Um, as far as color scheme and all of that. But I like, we're going to be doing roses on this one. So I'm thinking, roses. And maybe we'll throw, throw a bird in or something. I don't know. Let's just be different. Okay, so I'm not going to put the ta the label on until I know what we want to do or the lace. Uh, and right here, I just did a really cute little square. Because um, I wanted, because this side wasn't journal paper, so I just wanted it to have a, you know. So let's use some of this to do that. Trying to do it the other direction. It doesn't feel as right when I do it that way. It feels like I'm 
go in the wrong direction. That's all right. Okay, now we'll lay it down here and get it put on. And it has, it's it's a brown, but it has a little tint of, uh, or a little tinge of pink. Okay, now let's kind of do it like this. Just gives it a different look. All right, now we've got this side done. Let's go ahead and collage the other side and then we can flip back over on this side. Now, remember I said that didn't matter on this side. I wanted to put more heaviness on the paper on the other side. So this side is brown tones and I want to do it like that because I just, I like it. I like the way it looks. And um, so I'm wanting to go with the brown tints. Come on. There we go. Might as well stick that in the corner since it's got, I'll just have to see, but I think that might be where I put it. And I think I'm gonna put this one right along here. I'm kind of going to see what we're going to work with first. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Maybe down here. Try not to do them identical. Now, some of the papers might be the same and that's okay. That does not bother me. Um, believe it or not, I think those these two were in different paper pads. I know, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Okay. Now, let's see if we've got... I wanted to put a bigger piece in the middle to journal on. So it's probably going to have to end up being, I don't know if I have any more. I don't think I have any more of what we put on the other side. Let's see what this does. This is cool. Okay. Maybe we'll do it like that. Do it like that and then will cover around it accordingly. Okay, let me pull this off. Okie doke. This is a big piece. I better roll out the glue. This is a harder or heavier card stock as well. So, I try to because if, especially if you're going to put this in a book, you just don't want it to come apart on somebody. And um, my goal is not to let that happen. Okay, now, let's get it in the center. That way we can just work around it. I'm trying to move it up a little bit. I don't think it's going to go. Okay, that's good enough because then we can trim off any excess. Okay. Now, I want to put this in here. Let's go ahead and do that. Hope you guys have had a good day today. I had to go get my hair done today, and um, of course, you know, that's always fun. That's the fun kind of thing to do, even though it's not, you know, it's not my thing much anymore. The older I've gotten, I'm just happy to, okay, let's do this one at the bottom, but I don't want it to be over 
lovely white up here, especially. Hmm, I don't want it up there. I think we're going to put it down here. Okay. I'm not trying to make um, it identical to the other one. I just want it to be in the same color scheme. And these colors work really good with this. And see, I got off, so I gotta straighten it up. Okay, there we go. Yeah. All right, there's that part. Now, let's see what else we've got. I I trimmed out this one, but I'm thinking I'm going to put it down here. Because it just gives a lot of space to journal, you know? And it actually would reach across the whole thing. So let's do that. And... I just put the other piece down, but you know, you can still cover up portions. So, okay. All right, I guess I have stuff all over my hands is all I can figure that's making it look smudged because it's not really coming off the paper. Okay, it's not really coming off this either. <laughs> so there you go. I'm gonna trim this little piece right here. You go now. We have, my paper is moving, I'm sorry, my mat. Let me make sure you guys are in camera. I hope you were, I'm sorry. I put a little piece of scotch tape right here, but I didn't think about this one moving all over the place. Okay, now, we gotta do here and around the top and there. So, that one is not like it needs to be. <laughs> it's not gonna reach all the way across, but it but it's gonna be be good enough. We will have to oh I didn't get it up on the top. That's all right. We'll just do like this. We'll just do just like that. Okay. Come on, get straight there. You know, you start out thinking something in your head and, it's, and it still turns out different, you know? So, now we need a strip that will cover that. Let me grab some other... We don't need that much of it, so let me see. Okay, the seam or the straight side is on this other side, so we'll just we'll just cut we'll just glue it on and trim it. So I saw a friend. I saw my beauty operator today, and I. 
we were talking about journals and she journals, which I, I, I didn't really know, but I do now. And she's really wanting to learn how to do journals. So I told her she probably should start out with traveler's notebooks. So I'm gonna make her one. It's gonna be fun. She wants to do it on subjects or books of the Bible, which is a great idea for those of you listening that may not have thought of that. You know, I know a lot of people journal just in a tablet, you know, with scripture or whatever. I know I've done that before. And um, this will give her something fun to journal in. Okay, we've got this big space right here in the middle. So we definitely got to have... Now this is different than this. Uh, so let's put it... We put this on the front, remember? So I'm going to trim the edge off of this. And the top. Right along this little tiny edge. Come on. Hopefully it will fit. We'll check first. Boy, just barely. <laughs> it just barely checks. Okay, let me put this on here. Because it looks like we're... We've got... I'm going to put three pieces together. Because I laid them over here. One of them... One of them has a picture on it. So you really can't use it when it's like that. So... Now, it's plus, I think, three layers uh, is stronger. But you absolutely do not have to have three layers to do it. Just so you know. Now, the one we just, the one on the bottom we just used was super gluey, but did you notice it wasn't holding it down? And so that's something to remember when you get ready to use that page is to go ahead and add glue between them because if you didn't spend time to press them down and all that i always try to do it but i usually when i get off my video i will go over and make sure these are ready for the next the next time i clutch so let's go ahead and put this one on now. Okay. So, just like this. Let me make sure that's straight. Well, it's good enough. Okay. Now, I do think it... It would look better with something kind of framing it and really this on top would have been would have looked better underneath um, just some things for you to think about um, like I think I'm gonna put some of this over or under um, I don't know there's just certain looks I don't like do you guys have looks that you don't like when you're when you're journaling too? Um, I just feel like it needs to be covered up. The lower portion. Now it doesn't have to be up against the wall or anything like that. And it doesn't have to have this big hump in it taking up space. <clears throat> okay. Let's make sure we got the. Okay, but see, this still doesn't look good to me. I like this better than this right here. So, I'm thinking, what can I do to fix that? What do I have floating around that would fix that? How about, 
how about we just add another brown good grief okay let's do like this see it just I just I don't know I just like the journaling portion which all of this is journaling is a journaling portion it's just if you're going for a certain look in your head you know it's better to just do it now because later on it's not gonna work and I'm gonna do one more thing and then we're going to be done with this part and then we'll go into kind of de decorating the other side a little bit don't know yet what that's going to consist of when this paper's gone i'm going to miss it do you guys have papers that you could collage with that are your favorite i know i do i am um, I'm going to miss this, these browns, like that and that, and both of these. I like them both, so I'm kind of like, hmm, I'm going to miss those. Miss those little guys. Okay, let me see how far that's hanging off. Might pull it down just a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Now let me trim this off and we'll be good to go. This is a big page. Now that looks better. Even though I left this up here, I like it better. And uh, we'll see if that bugs me as time goes by. <laughs> Do you guys know what I mean? As time goes by while we're making our collage, Okay, so now I'm going to move this paper back into the little basket here out of my way because we're going to move on to something that's going to be different. We're going to we're going to do like a design. You know, we talked about that before about doing a kind of like a design. And um so I'm thinking why not? I feel like this turned out to be a design, um, you know, so, I, you know, that's pretty good. So I'm going to flip this over because we're going to do that on this side where there's more color. So um, I'm thinking, too, that I'm going to use some of Gail's uh, trims, digitals. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking also um, that I want to do, hmm, what do we want to put up to replace that? See, I thought we could kind of go with roses since my book is going to be roses. So we could do some botanicals. And this is an old... Um, folder from um, Heidi Swap and I think I want we're not going to fussy cut anything in this one because we can just roll around these roses and I just wanted to kind of do roses and I wanted them to kind of be similar to the other one that had roses now I wouldn't I wouldn't have you on here to fussy cut because it would take me way too long. But this shows us the roses. Now we could do them up here, which I like. I don't really want all those white roses down here though. You know what we could do is Right above, don't get close to the pink, but right above it, we can tear this 
we might even put this the the white whitish yellow ones on the back if we decide to just to give it a little bit of a different look and then I will come down over I really like that maroon like if we came down over it with the maroon that's what we'll do so I'm not going to glue that until we get we trim these off now remember we're just tearing perfection has not got to happen here well that was a different tear see that worked out just fine um, I'll go around this too I kind of want it to be where you can I can still use the other ones now I'm thinking do I want to have the maroon or the uh, pink ones on top Let's see how it looks and then we'll decide. Let's see. I don't like that part sticking out, so. Yeah, and this really needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Let me do that first. Because it's got a kind of an orange rose behind it every now and then. We don't want orange on here, do we? Okay. All right. Okay, now, let's see. That looks better than it did. So if we bring this down a little bit, we can then come over it with Hmm. I'm going to put that all the way over. See what we get out of that. It's still wanting to show these white ones right here. Huh? Maybe we're gonna have to put these above. Let's see what they look like above. You know, you have a plan in your head and it doesn't mean it always works. <laughs> yeah, it looks better this way. So this is gonna have to go up and then this will hang over and the white will be trimmed off. Right? Let's do that. We just got to do it. You know, if we just don't do it, we could sit here and play with it all day. Now, mind you, that is a dark maroon, but I think the light uh, pink or the pink um, complements it so that's good I'm just going to kind of lay that right there till I know for sure I'm in the right spot nope let's go up a little bit telling you if you got my fingers are kind of inky inky have ink on them in it as you go along here it gets dirtier and dirtier so bringing that up like that okay All right. Okay. So we're going to 
gonna bring that right there. Gotta bring that up a little bit. I'm trying to keep both of them from showing the background, but yet to look good. Okay, I'm gonna trim that so I can see what we're dealing with. There we go. Okay, that side looks good. Let's do this top. There we go. Let me get all this out of the way because it's going to stick to everything. So there, it gives you a little bit of white also, which is nice. Now, there is nothing that says we can't put something on one side. Just to, like this is a totally different color. The problem was me... Um, let me see if I can trim this white off easier and or trim some of the big portions off easier than trying to tear it. I don't want it to look, you know, like I've used scissors, but it might by me doing that, but I'm going to try not to. Just want to get a little bit of the white off. And get around these roses right here. I don't know if you guys pull your roses or your flowers the wrong way too. I pull everything the wrong way. And I'm trying to work on that. I like, I do like the white border. Because it does kind of separate things. I just don't like this much. Does that make sense? I think you can have too much white border. And so we're just going to take care of it. All right. Let's move that. I have to fix that little piece right there. Hmm. Mm -mm. I still don't like it, guys. So on this one side that I plan on making the inside, I'm going to tear around because I don't like the way the white looks on this particular thing. Whoopsie. So there we go. Let's see. I'm not really wanting it to take up a lot. I was thought that I wanted it to be more like in a corner, but I don't know if it's going to work like that. Let's see. Maybe like that. Okay. We'll see what that looks like. Get that right back down in there so you guys can see it better. Okay, let me make sure. There you go. All right, so what we're going to do is make sure we're hanging off down at the bottom. Make sure none of the, the texture or the um, collage section is showing and make it look like it's, you know, deliberately hanging off the page. Okay, come on. You better look good when we're done. I thought, you know, this came out of an old journal too, this this uh, paper. And I just thought, hmm, might as well try using that, you know. It's, um, I'm going to get this off so we don't get stuck in it. Let's see what happens after this. 
Okay, so I'm thinking now that's enough roses, right? I'm really wanting to use some of Gail's. Hmm. I really think I would have liked it better than the roses. But it would have had to have gone under the roses. Right? If this isn't too stuck, I can slip it right up under there. Which I think we can, guys. Yep. Because we don't need to put it under there much. And we'll just pull this off if we can. Nah, it's not going to come off, so we're not going to worry about it. What is covered up? One nice thing about collaging, right? You can just cover it up. Don't have to deal with it at all. I want to keep some of this because I, I don't have another one printed. But I can always print another one. I want to use some of it on another page I'm, or another collage sheet that I'm working on. Well, maybe we'll just hang this off then. Since this is how it wants to go. Well, crud. Come on. Get up under there. we go. I'm going to have to get some glue up under here now. Maybe not that much, Paula. Sorry, I keep, I'm wrestling with this, so it's, I feel like I'm being forced off the, out of the line of the camera. We'll give this a minute to <coughs> settle in. Okay, I'm gonna trim the bottom part off first. I really wanted the whole thing on there, but if you're gonna have something off the edge of the paper, you need to really have it off the edge, you know, on both, you know, more than one side, it'll look nicer. Looks like it's on purpose. Yeah, I like that. Good job, Gail. Okay, so there we go. I have to ink that or something. Okay, we don't need anything else on here as far as collage, although right here doesn't look right to me. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks right? Hmm? I have some... I have a pink, this pink rose right here. Maybe just this cluster of three. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'm liking this or not. I'm just going to tell you the truth because I want to mislead you. I, I think it is going to need something very um, special <laughs> for it to look good. It, it, you know, it has to be something that it would would work for it, so. I don't really like that one part. I think it needs something that kind of takes the straight away. You know, you get something in your head and you think, oh, well, that'd be pretty, yeah. I like the ribbon and the pink roses. I think it's the maroon roses that just aren't appealing to me. But who knows? Get some of this under there. All right.
All right. Well, not my favorite uh, so far. I'm thinking um, we need a label on here for sure. And I'm thinking this label would look good. But maybe it might be too much. Hmm. Not my favorite thing. We'll put the label on this side. I think it will just look better. And it still has a, the pink in it, so, you know, it uh, works either way. Let me see if we want to put some, um, whoo, that got glue everywhere. Now I for sure have it all over me. Okay. There we go. Get a wipey to wipe my hands off. Messy, 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 messy. Okay, I'm going to take this page and fold it over for now because it is covered. Okay, now I've got glue under my fingernails. <laughs> You name it. Okay, so I think this one is done. Um, I'm trying to think, do we want to, I may end up putting like roses or something on here. Um, Cause this is not my favorite. I love this side, not so much this side. Tell me what you think. Uh, you know, I could cut this off right here and use it differently. So, if it, when I show you what it looks like stitched around, I will, you will know then if I don't keep the roses. See, I just should have put one of my little birds on here, and he would have been just happy, but he doesn't go with this. But if I cut the top off, he would go perfect. Look, we're cutting the top off. You ready? I got to get my, my big, um, give me a second. Give me just a couple seconds to move all my junk right here. This was not pre-planned. But I want to do it with my big, my big um, chompy thing because, oh my goodness, stuff is falling. Well, the dog's not in here. I'll get it later. Um, I have several things lined out to do and they're all over the place. And I really need to get them done because, let me see how much time we got. We have time to cut this off and decide on the bird. I've got three different birds. So, can you guys see my chomper? My chomper is what I call it. I'll move it over a little bit. My chomper. How's that? Yeah, so we're just going to, we don't have to worry about this side. We're just going to chomp, and we're going to keep this because I really like that. I hope this is okay to use on my chomper because the glue is still wet. We're fixing to find out. See, it's not too sure. I took it the wrong way, probably. Here, let me, let me move this down this way. You know, when you pull it towards you, it just works better. Let's see what happens. It acted like there was something right there in the way. So we'll just go down a little tiny bit. I'll, I'll give you a hint. 
it's better to do it towards you if you want it to be straight. Now see, look at that, that's already bit better. So we're just gonna set this aside. I've had it put away because, you know. All right, so change of plans, right? Um, I like this much better. I don't know about you guys, but I love this ribbon on here and the tag over here. Now I will do some little touching up. So I'm thinking which bird would look better on the front because we've got, this one's closer to the pink. We've got a yellow, we've got a brown. Let me look here. I'm kind of thinking the brown because the red is, the flowers are pink and maroon. And then we could put one on the other side. How's that? Maybe we'll bring it over. He's so cute, isn't he? Only one, Paula, only one. Don't want to get, get all, um, cluttery. Let's do the feet gently here. Okay. He may have to go on a different book than um, the one I'm going to be making. <laughs> I got him sitting on the top of this paper. But see, I think that's cute. I should have gone with my first instincts were to do this. Do, you know, the little guy. Now, do I want to put a label? Let's just see what one looks like. I'm not going to put the one that's on the other side because it's too big. But maybe we need something to bring out a little bit of the yellow. Now, see, this is the only color we have like that except for here and here. Let me hold on to that one and see what else we've got. We may decide we want to do something with the pink. I'm digging. Excuse me for being off camera. It's just lots easier than making you suffer. Okay, here's this one. That almost looks orange, but it's really a red trim. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm digging. I'm digging. Okay, here's one that will work. This is a maroon. That will work, or... Got a couple maroons here. Okay, so let's move that to the side. I feel like it needs to be in here. There's that one. We'll just audition them. Here's this one. The square, which kind of looks good because you have a square going here, but then it would might be nice with an oval. Hmm. What are we thinking? Let's let's bounce back with the square and the oval. The oval. The oval wins. I'm sorry. It just does. The oval is the winter. Now, I'm going to put that on real quick. Then we'll roll over to the other side and see if we want to clean anything up over there. We might decide we don't want the label that's over there because now does it really go? That is the thing. Let's make sure this is straight. I don't know why our little paper is 
not sticking down here. It All of it will stick down when you stitch it. So you don't have to worry about. I don't know. I just like this way better. Um, now let's flip it over. And see, this doesn't really... But it's not going anywhere. So, there are big... Like, see, this would even look better. I like that better, don't you? Let's see if we have any... Um, any oval or bigger... Oh, you know what it would be pretty cool? But I don't think they're big enough to cover this other tag. I've got several of those in here. I need to use them. They just kind of get stuck in a drawer and then you don't see them and then, you know, things change. These aren't big enough either. That's the problem. So let's find a big tag. I think they're in the back of my bag. See, that doesn't even cover it. So, I guess what we're going to end up doing... Wait a minute, let's see if one of these... This doesn't cover it either. I know I can tell... Well, maybe so. No, it doesn't cover the top and the bottom. Let's see what this one is. This one is bigger. Okay, this is better than what we've got on there. But I just found this one. Keep your fingers crossed. Yes! That one, which is the same color as the one on the front, it all has fell together. It's all going to work. Um... I wouldn't even put the second label on, but, you know, I can't get that one off. So, we're better off to have a second one that looks good than to have one that looks pitiful. Won't be using that label again because I don't like the way it looks. It's really not a label. It's a little card. I've got a bunch of these little cards that, you know... Let me make sure you guys can see. A bunch of these little cards that have uh, been in my stash forever, but you can never get them to work on anything because, you know, they're too small. So I thought, well, maybe they would make good tags because they're cute. All right, guys. I have to really get that down well. All right, so this didn't go the direction that we had hoped for, but it was fun. So this is what my goal was. <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself. This is what my goal was right here. But um, this is what we got. Uh, and I think he turned out cute, so that's okay. Um I think making them really big is a challenge. Um, so I would say to you, stick with smaller ones or at least a smaller book than nine by six. Um, Cause that's what these, this one was before we chomped its head off. <laughs> so I, of course, I'm gonna trim this up and see what I can do with the back of what we have left over. I may, try to figure out how to get these off by just kind of sliding them off and then do a little something with it. I mean, we got this perfectly good. So that was my phone that interrupted. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, I hope you give me a thumbs up and come back and see the next video. It's not going to be collage. It's going to be for my botanical book, but it's really about something you insert into the book. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.